Hello and welcome to Watchdog Wargaming. Uh, just a quick uh, video today on the announcement by Warlord Games that they're bringing out a new box set for their bolt action range. Uh, Pre-orders for A Gentleman's War, which is uh, battles of North Africa between the Deutsches Afrika Corps and the 8th Army. Um, it will be uh, out for pre-release on the 22nd of July 22. The new box set of Gentleman's War contains everything you'll need to play bolt action in the Western Desert. You get an A5 rulebook, um, a bespoke theatre booklet that will guide you through the first steps into the game, templates and tokens, pin markers and dice. And this is a perfect entry into the bolt action uh, game, whether you're entirely new to bolt action or a veteran looking to explore new theatres. As mentioned in the Warlord Games community page, uh, the Africa Corps uh, was sent to bolster the beleaguered Italian allies facing the combined forces of the British Commonwealth in North Africa. Deutsches Africa Corps proved a dangerous opponent, commanded by the legendary Erwin Wobble, the Desert Fox. The Africa Corps fought a series of ferocious battles in Egypt and Libya as Axis and allies pushed each other to breaking point. Uh, the German soldier was well respected for those he faced, and German tactics in the desert had found a deadly effect on how the British armour and infantry formations interacted with uh, each other. Lessons that would be well learned for the later conflicts to come. The actual box set has come uh, with the uh, the current Africa Corps infantry sprue, um, which gives you a various choice of options for having your uh, soldiers, um, different types of helmets, soft caps, uh, even so sort of the rig the first sort of like... Um, um, sun hat as well. Um, also, you can have different loadouts with your weapons, such as the Car 98, the MP40 submachine gun, 5 centimeter light mortar, and uh, many others. Um, also, this set comes with the um, SDKFZ 222, which is a light armored car used for scouting, and as a radio car, uh, which is the Panzer Funk Wagon, which is in a slightly different uh, format with its um, uh, square antenna around the turret. Um, the 222 had an open turret and mounted a 20 meter cannon alongside an MG34 machine gun. Uh, the turret design meant the weapons could be elevated to most vertical, allowing to be used as an um, anti aircraft weapon as well. A uh, crew of three a driver, a gun, and a commander. And uh, this, the new plastic vehicle can also be assembled um, as the SDK FZ223, uh, a, radio, a radio variant replacing the 20 meter cannon turret with a smaller machine gun version. Moving on to the uh, Eighth Army. So the Eighth Army was formed from the preceding Western Desert Force in 1941. The British Eighth Army comprised of men from across the British Commonwealth, so British, New Zealanders, Australians, Indians, and South Africans. Uh, following early successes against the Italian in North Africa, the Eighth Army f uh, suddenly faced a new, more deadly foe, Deutsches Africa again. Um, uh, the Eighth Army uh, became more properly known as the Desert Rats, a nickname that was adopted from the Seventh Armoured Brigade. Uh, a key component in the Western Desert Force. The um, the actual figures box set itself comes with sprues of, of um, British Eighth Army uh, infantry, uh, that which is gives you enough components to build 24 British Commonwealth infantry. You have a multitude of parts and options such as Indian, Scottish Highlander heads, or head just a plain helmeted head uh, to choose from, uh, and also you have. Um, you can change the the weapons loadout, so you can have um, uh, options with a Lee Enfield rifle with a long bayonet, Thompson submachine guns, um, Bren light machine guns, Boys anti tank rifle, and the two inch mortar to uh, name a few. Also, with the this uh, particular set comes the um, the Humber armored car. Um, the Humber armored car was originally based on the unsuccessful Guy armored car. Um, which the majority were lost um, for, uh, at Dunkirk. Um, so a lot of the, the actual teeth and problems were sorted, uh, were corrected, and uh, and then so sort of the actual vehicle itself became well liked and a uh, very reliable combat vehicle. Um, like it says, fast, armored, and deadly with its 15 millimeter Beza machine gun, and had top speed of uh, 70 miles an hour. Um, so the Tumbra itself actually served quite well in the Western Desert from 1941, and the um, 
the new multi-purpose kit also allows you to build the uh, Mark IV variant, which was uh, widely used in Europe and the Far, far East. So there we have it, a, a quick and dirty review of A Gentleman's War, the new um, Western Desert box set that's coming out from Warlord Games um, to support their bolt action range. Uh, Pre-orders for this um, item will be out, uh, will be open on the 22nd of July 22 at 1500 hours British Standard Time. So um, another uh, box set to look at. Um, and again, as this is well supported by their additional uh, theater selectors, uh, which will be able to you be able to re refight uh, crucial battles. So uh, thanks for your time, um, much appreciated. I hope you're all well, and I will catch up again. All the best now.